Hello everyone and welcome to Restaurant Archaeology. Today we'll be taking a look at Barrio Brewing Company at the Phoenix Mesa Gateway Airport in Mesa, Arizona. Barrio Brewing Company got their start in Tucson, Arizona in 1991. This is their first location in the Phoenix area and it opened in May of 2017. The restaurant is attached to the Gateway Aviation Center which is kind of like a gas station for helicopters and airplanes but that's really oversimplifying it. The reason why I wanted to visit this restaurant was because I was told it has amazing views of the tarmac at the airport and you can see all kinds of really interesting planes and helicopters landing and taking off. Here's a shot of the patio and you can see it really does just butt right up against the tarmac there. This airport was originally a military facility, Williams Air Force Base, and because of that it's got runways long enough for military aircraft to land and take off, and it looks like that still happens here. When I heard you could see interesting aircraft, I didn't know that meant Harrier jets and F-18s and T-38 trainers. The area around the aviation center and the restaurant is also really nice. You can see there's lots of grass fields here and benches so you can actually sit and watch the aircraft if you want to. And you can see it was a really clear beautiful day while we were here as well. I believe that's a T-38. If I'm wrong I'm sure someone will let me know down in the comments below. From what I was told all of this military aircraft belongs to the United States Marines. I always thought the Harrier was so cool as a kid, and I think this is the closest I've ever been to one. Now I thought maybe they were just storing these here, but it turns out these are not here just for storage, and we got to see some of these start up and take off, which we will get a chance to see later on in the video. <laughs> it looks so bizarre, a little plane taxiing out there with all these military jets. We'll look at the planes more in a little bit, but maybe we should actually take a look at and talk about the restaurant itself now. Here's a look at the bar in the middle of the restaurant, and they normally have 12 beers on tap. I tried the Copperhead Pale Ale, and it was really good. Here's a look at their menu, and it consists of a lot of brew pub staples like burgers, sandwiches, salads, and appetizers. Because it's attached to an airport, a lot of the decor and everything is aviation related, which I enjoyed quite a bit. I've always liked aviation history and things like that since I was a little kid. The nice thing is even though there's a lot of TVs with sports going on, the volume's not too loud so you can still have a conversation. And there are kids menus, so this place is family friendly. They actually open at 7am on Saturdays and Sundays, and we were told to try and get here a little bit early to make sure we saw some of the cool planes, but we didn't end up showing up till about 10.30 and we still got a pretty awesome show. And then we came inside for an early lunch. It was pretty lively for a late Sunday morning, but not too crowded that we had a hard time getting a table as a party of six, so that was pretty nice. They actually have things you can do too while you're waiting for your food. They had stacks of board games and things like that that you can play, and they also had a nice shuffleboard. I haven't seen one of these in a bar in a long time. Now unfortunately, none of us were very good at this game, and a uh, word of advice to any bars or restaurants that have these in your establishment, it would be a good idea to post the rules on the wall, because we actually, believe it or not, kind of had a hard time finding what the actual rules to this game were, just doing some Google searches. There was a lot of conflicting information. But we still had a lot of fun playing around with it. And here's a screen so you can keep track on the status of your flight in case you're here killing time, and. I had actually never heard of Swoop Airlines until I saw it here on this board. And here's a shot of some of the food we ordered. My kid went with a turkey club and I got a French dip. And I can't remember what the family we were with ordered, but I know they said they really enjoyed their food. And my wife got like a chicken parmesan sandwich, again I can't remember what it was called, but we all really enjoyed our food as well, so I would give it solid scores all around. Now this is the lobby of the Gateway Aviation Center that the restaurant is attached to, and you can get in here from the restaurant. And I wanted to show this because there's actually some really neat things on display here. 
for example, these Air Force Challenge coins. There's a nice little collection of these here. And these are pretty cool to see, because like I mentioned earlier in the video, this was a Air Force base originally. It's nice that there's little pieces of that history still here. Across from where the challenge coins were, there were some neat aerial maps on the wall. There were maps of what the surrounding area looked like back when this was an Air Force base. And then there were also some more modern maps of what the area looks like now since it was converted to a municipal airport. And I guess at one point some F-35s landed here, so they've got pictures of those. But I always do enjoy looking at aerial maps throughout various periods of time to see how much an area has grown. It's, it's pretty interesting. And here's some really cool models that they have. It's pretty neat in here. It's almost like a small museum exhibit to the history of the Air Force Base. Now let's take a look at the really awesome show we got before our lunch. This might be some of the loudest stuff I've ever filmed, so I'm not even going to try talking over it.
to see your name here, head on over to patreon.com slash resalearchaeology to find out how you can help support the channel. Thanks for checking out this episode of Restaurant Archaeology. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And also, if you have a few minutes, why don't you check out this other episode of Restaurant Archaeology I've got here. And also, make sure to follow at these social media links down there because that's the best way to keep up with what's going on with the channel.